Which is more important, the truth or the need to be right? When it comes to knowledge, ideas, information, what is most important to me is truth. I want to know what is true, even if the truth is unsettling or uncomfortable or inconvenient, even if the truth means having to abandon what I had previously believed to be true. You have to value truth more than you value being right. And what I mean is that if you have the need to always be right, if your self-image or ego is invested in being perceived as always being right, you'll be reluctant to admit when you're wrong. You may even discard or deflect from what is true just to protect your self-image. You can even go so far as to delude yourself into believing things which are blatantly false just to avoid having to admit to being wrong. Many of the ideas that we hold, our beliefs, our opinions, our viewpoints, can be misinformed by no fault of our own, simply because we're given bad information. Or it might be that our perspective is simply limited in some way, we're only looking at it from one angle, we're not really seeing the bigger picture. Or maybe we just don't have all the facts, all of which means that you could be wrong, and there's no shame in that. Or at least, we shouldn't feel ashamed of that. But in order to know the truth, you have to be willing to consider that you may be wrong, that you might be mistaken. You have to be willing to consider that your viewpoint might be limited or skewed or obscured. And you have to have the willingness to be corrected. You have to have the willingness to abandon your beliefs if they're shown to be invalid. For me, a big part of my own learning process involves looking at opposing ideas. Can you listen to opposing ideas? And not in the way that most people do, which is to look just in order to discredit. A lot of people only look at opposing ideas in order to find the flaws, the intention, or the aim is to dismantle and debunk those ideas in order to dismiss them. That's not really what I'm talking about. I'm talking about looking at opposing ideas with the consideration that there might be some truth in them. To listen to opposing viewpoints with the willingness to learn something new. I've learned a lot by listening to opposing viewpoints. It's always given me a more well-rounded understanding. At times, I've had to change my views or expand them, or to reconsider the way I look at something, the way I understand something. At the very least, I might learn how others perceive things and why they perceive things as they do. And there's a lot of value just in that alone. But I've learned to put aside any sense of conviction and to just be willing to listen, to hear what the other has to say, holding in mind the possibility that they may have something to teach me. And I don't remember who said it, but someone once made the point that every person you encounter knows something that you don't, which means that every encounter holds within it the possibility for you to learn something. You just have to have that willingness. And something else that I've observed is that whenever there are two opposing viewpoints, it's not always the case that one is right and the other is wrong. Sometimes the truth can be found someplace in the middle. I've listened to a lot of debates, mostly on philosophical or spiritual topics, but also political and social issues. Any kind of ideological debate. And what I find interesting is that most of the time, the only reason people are debating is to try and convert the other, to establish some kind of intellectual supremacy, to prove that your idea is better and to obliterate your opponent, to make them look foolish. But most of the time, they're not really interested in learning anything. And I find it funny how at the end of these debates, both parties tend to walk away not only not having learned anything, not having changed their perspective in any way, but also walking away believing that they won the argument, even though no one actually conceded anything, no one changed their position. 
which really means that they both lost the debate because neither of them actually learned anything. But you'll see these people all puffed up and feeling proud of themselves for not having actually accomplished anything. So the problem in all of this is that many people have no willingness to learn, no willingness to consider opposing viewpoints, no willingness to re-examine their own ideas and beliefs. It's mostly about reaffirming what you already believe and standing your ground, even though the ground might be unstable. But what I often find in listening to these kinds of debates is that both parties will tend to make some valid points, which is to say it's often the case that neither of them is 100% right about everything, and neither of them is 100% wrong either. Sometimes a viewpoint might be entirely wrong, but it's unwise to conclude that without first exploring it, without really listening and taking it into consideration. The other thing is that sometimes what appears to be opposing viewpoints aren't necessarily in conflict with one another. Sometimes they're just two different ways of looking at the same thing, or looking at the same thing from two very different angles. And so each person is seeing something that the other isn't. So something I've gotten myself into the habit of doing is whenever I encounter some information, some opinion, some idea about something, even if it sounds reasonable to me or agreeable, even if it's what I would like to believe to be true, I will withhold making any sort of conclusions about it without first hearing the arguments against it. Before I accept this idea or viewpoint or whatever it happens to be, is there any argument against it? Is the information complete? Do I have all the facts? Are there any flaws in the argument? Because if there are flaws in it, you're not likely to hear that from the same person presenting the idea. You have to go to someone else. And sometimes you have to find someone who's opposed to it. You have to hear the rebuttal. And you have to hear it with the same degree of willingness that you have toward considering the more appealing idea. And I will say that sometimes, even having heard both sides to an argument, I might still walk away from that with a sense of ambiguity and uncertainty, not having come to an ultimate conclusion, recognizing that I may have heard valid arguments from both sides, but it's still not clear and conclusive. There's more that I need to know. I need more information. Or maybe it's just a lot more complex and complicated than it initially seemed. And it's okay to be in a place of uncertainty. It's okay to not have it all figured out. You don't have to have a definitive answer to everything. Even if you have a strong leaning in one direction more than the other, it's okay to be able to say that I strongly believe this to be the case. This is what makes the most sense to me, given what I know. But I'm not 100% certain of it. There's still room to be wrong. I could be mistaken. I could have faulty information. Or maybe I don't have all the information. And what I don't know could be the piece of the puzzle that changes the entire picture. And that doesn't mean that whatever idea or belief I currently hold is completely and absolutely false, although that's certainly a possibility. But what is more likely is that it just might be inaccurate, that it's partly false. That means there may be some aspects of it which are true and other aspects which are false. Or it may simply mean that the information is incomplete, that there's more to it than what I currently know. And that's the thing. I notice how so many people have this idea that something either has to be absolutely true or absolutely false, absolutely right or absolutely wrong. But sometimes it's more complicated than that. There can be some variation or nuance, or there may be circumstantial differences. What works well in one situation may not work in another. So these are all things to be considered. But overall, I find that in order to have a well-rounded perspective on any matter, it's important to explore it from various different angles. And in order to do this with 
honesty and integrity, you have to make truth the highest priority. If you find value in this content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe.